everyone, it's Zach, and we are going to try a live reaction of this Pokemon Presents. Now, I've never done a live reaction before. The Isle of Armor update, I kind of just talked about it afterwards. And the last Presents, um, I didn't do a live reaction of because I was more focused on trying to start the Isle of Armor. But anyways, when it comes to predictions, we got about two minutes. Uh, when it comes to predictions, I think we're going to see, we'll, we'll maybe see a title for Let's Go Johto Games, if we do. Um, I think, I think if we don't hear any more information about the new Pokemon Snap, then uh, we probably won't see the game until 2021. I know a lot of rumors were pointing to a closer release, but I think if we don't hear anything else about it, we won't see it until uh, next year. I could definitely see it being like one of Nintendo's April games. And I think we hopefully hear something about Pokemon Sleep. If that's still a thing. But honestly, I would not be surprised if that was scrapped. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I don't think we're going to get any more information on Crown Tundra. If so, it's like very minimal. It might be like a tease. I think if they do uh, Crown Tundra information, it'll be through an update like they did for the Isle of Armor before it came out. And, hmm. We might hear about the Detective Pikachu game. And then there's going to be something that totally no one needed there's going to be a new Pokemon puzzle leak for mobile that's my predictions let's uh let's wait for this to start Yes. Okay. We got a countdown going. And in that minute 40, I'll be right back. If I pause this, can I just continue? Okay. The last uh, presents, I jumped in about like five minutes late, so. 
I missed, I think, Pokemon Cafe and jumped in like, no, I missed Pokemon Smiles and jumped in towards the tail of Pokemon Cafe Mix, which I haven't tried yet. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so there's a rating. We got a game. This is probably the one with Timmy, the Tencent company. Mm, this might actually be news about a main series. But they're including all the different games, so... Oh. Wow. That that has the possibility to pick up especially in Japan. And the fact that 10 cents behind it like, it's going to get done right. What platforms, though? Because if it's not on PC, like, its, it's fan base is definitely going to be limited. What the the gameplay that they were showing already looked pretty good. Mm. So the Pokemon so far seem limited. I mean, this is a standard game type. I can't forget, I can't think of the, the game that's super popular. There's one of the Mario on Switch. That's cool.
just like all of those games. Hold on, I gotta grab my Switch. I gotta figure out which... All of those games are free to start. That's really awesome. Arena of Valor. It's like Arena of Valor. And there's other games like it too. So, 5v5, yeah. So some content creators. Of course Ishihara paired him with with like the the group that probably probably has more experience playing the, these games. But then again, the other workers for the Pokemon company might play these games as well. So why do only the starters have to evolve up? You know? Like, where's Rioli and Munchlax? So Machamp has to evolve up too. Did Town Flame have to evolve? Oh, that's a sweet shirt. That Galissapard shirt. This game has the potential to be, like, crazy popular. Especially with crossplay through, like, Switch and mobile. Most of them are playing on their phones, though.
So is that okay? So yeah. So once you catch the Pokemon, they become like your little uh, AI troops. So Ishihara was the only one using his switch. I'm excited to try that. I think it'll be cool. I tried to rent a Valor and there's just a lot going on. It was fun, but it, it didn't really hold my attention too long. But, like, being a cross-play game that you can pick up and put down, like, definitely want to try that. Was that it? Oh wow, that was... Oh, people are mad. People are mad. A lot of people overhyped it. A lot of people said that we were going to get Let's Go Johto and look at all these leaks and rumors and I mean it, we could still get these but when you when you overhype them like people are going to get upset I, I mean I'm definitely surprised that that was it especially like compared to like how much information and stuff we got in the first one. I, I do think this game has the potential to be a very big deal. Because um, those type of games, the, the 5v5 take on uh, zones of your opponents, try to destroy their base like level up systems like I I forget exactly what they're called but they're they're a strategy game like that type of strategy game is like super popular and with the with the backing of Tencent means I think it can go to China so that game honestly has the potential to be huge and if I don't know how, if they put in like purchases, like different skins, like that game could be big. Let's let's go back see if we can. So, what was weird is, like, Snorlax and Lucario, like, didn't have to evolve, but, like, Machamp and, like, the starters did. I want to go back to the gameplay. I mean, that looks good. For a mobile game and a Switch game. Five-minute matches. I mean, look even above. Like, it's running at 60 FPS. 
I wonder if that's like the limit. Honestly, though, I do think like if they want this game to be as big as it could be, it's it's probably going to need a PC version. I I know with like their the directed audience, you could be perfectly fine with a, a mobile and Switch only game. But I I honestly think that like if you If you if you need like if you want it to be as big as it could be, you you need it you need it on p you need it playable on PC as well. Okay, so I'm trying to see so so Squirtle needs to evolve like Charmander. They focus on Ishihara's team like the most. So, Machamp needs to evolve. We see Talonflame, but we don't know how later in the game this is. That's the one thing I don't understand. Like, why do you have to evolve some Pokemon and not others? Warning, apologists are at max level. Am I an apologist? I, I do think that a lot of people are going to be upset. A lot of people are upset. The like to dislike ratio has was already more towards dislikes before I even got to the the like back to the non full screen. Wow. I think people I think people's anger is going to deter the fact that like this type of game for Pokemon is going to be a big deal. But anyways, I'm going to end it here. Let me know how you felt about it. Um let me know how bummed you were in the comments down below. If you haven't looked at it yet, check out my Isle of Armor playthrough. Uh I definitely want to start some teams soon uh, I have one team that's basically ready and I can't wait for July to roll around so I could use it I, I might jump on a casual today um, Ninjala is also coming out today so got to download that and g check that out but anyways if you want to stay tuned to any of those things that I just mentioned make sure you subscribe don't forget to like the video. Unlike this Pokemon announcement, don't treat my video like this Pokemon announcement, and I will see you in the next one.